Hello everybody, um, this is super super special and I'm a little bit excited, we are launching, I've got something to tell you, it's a secret, well it's not a secret, the cat's out the bag, it is our birthday web launch and yes it's I've got something to tell you, we are bringing you some incredibly cute characters for this and it is for, um, like I say, on our latest two Red Robins. Oh my goodness, wait till you see what we've done with these. They are brilliant, okay? So let's have a quick look at a couple of our finished van samples. Now, RDT, I've had a whirl of a time with this and you can always tell how much they love something. Just look at this and this is a super card. Our lovely Vicky's done this. Now, when you think, um, you know, we go on about over the edge cards and everything, but using your foundation dies in a little bit of a different way, which is fabulous. It's created all of that perspective in one go. So we've got a little bit going on in here and a little bit going on out there. Isn't that lovely? And obviously the beautiful little characters. Then this one, I love this one. Got, I've got to turn it around and show you like this. Okay, so look at that. So that is that. And then let me make sure I've got it the right way around. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Isn't that just stunning? So we've got our little garden going on and we've got our beautiful uh, characters set in this fabulous, aren't they just stunning? So again, lovely, lovely card. It is just incredible. And again, that's by our Vicky. Love it. A little bit of a concertina in the middle, but then obviously when we're closing it up, because use those scenes to finish it off. Isn't that adorable? So we have got, this is just brilliant. So we've brought you something a little bit different with the dies. Now you've seen these dies before. I'm going to turn this over and show you. You've got the dies, but then you've got the wiggly lines, okay? So these create slits or little pockets within your actual scene. So then you can sit your characters inside that scene. And remember, when you get something like our gatherings, these are fabulous because all those little tiny characters work wonderfully with this. So this is what you're actually getting. So you're going to be able to cut out these five elements and then the scene itself here is a pocket so the longest of these lines sits across here and actually cuts into this piece and then the shorter of the two lines sits in here and cuts this other pocket so it creates a lot happening already on just a flat piece of card if you wanted it to so that's a super die so that's your starting off point then Oh my goodness, here we have Mary. And look, they're holding hands, aren't they adorable? So these are our little characters where they're having a little bit of a whisper because they've got something to tell us, remember? So with that one, you get our little bird and also you get our character, okay? So that is Mary. Then we have the language of flowers. Now, it is actually quite true. There is a language for flowers. It, you know, they, they have got so many different meanings. But on this one, we've given you four beautiful florals along with a beautiful um, spray. And also we've given you, they're all movement, they're all shaped. It's not just a straight stem. It's got, def you know, it's got movement in it. So and also they're all in different directions. So they're gonna make a beautiful bouquet if that's where you want it to go. So that's the language of flowers. Then we have something to tell you gathering. And as always with the gathering, we give you different sizes and we change the rotation of where they're looking. So these can be in the background, again, building your creativity, adding into what you've already got. And these are gonna work beautiful with those tuckings, those little slits on the scene. Then we have Finally, Rita. Isn't she adorable? And again, two little characters. We've got our little mouse and our little birdie and they're having a super conversation. But we've also done these and stylized these that obviously Rita can be holding a bouquet of those flowers as well or be giving a bouquet of those flowers. So it, it, we've it, obviously a lot of thoughts go into this, which usually happens within our two Red Robins collection. These are adorable. Now, when you get 
the MCS, because you have also got the ability of having MCS and SVGs, we've popped on here for you a few sentiments. And they're not the run of the mill, happy birthday, congratulations or anything like that. Best friends, have you heard? It's your birthday. Hello. Pass on the message from me to you. Get well soon. A little birdie told me it's your birthday. So we've not gone with the standardised ones and we've also given you different sizes. So you're going to have some fabulous sentiments in there. Whether you're creating cards so you need the smaller ones or whether this is going in a journal page or even um, an artist page, this is going to be brilliant. So we've given you a few sentiments. Then we've also given you a couple of the backgrounds. I've just printed a couple off. Okay. And then we've also given you the scene. So this is what you're going to be getting when you work in Minecraft Studio. So there's some beautiful things to be going on there with you. And then also when you download your SVG files, you will have the three different sizes as always along with your reflections to be able to print out and use. So that is our fabulous collection. Shall we show you just one more sample so you can have a look? Let's have a little look, see. Look at this. Aren't these just adorable? So that is the actual backing papers really um, holding their own in this one because there's only two little characters on here but it's all about the backing papers on this one which is phenomenal. So let's quickly go to the PC. Let's have a quick look what we get in. So on here you've got all the elements. You will get that original scene, okay? So that is the original scene that you've already uh, already had a look at on the board. And also, as always, on here you get the extra colorways. So not only have you got the original blue one, but you also get this adorable pink dress as well. So that in itself gives you more because these could be two little characters that are different. They're in different outfits. Same with the birds. And then you've got all of these florals as well. I'm going to remove that so I can bring up, look at all these florals. And remember, with Minecraft Studio, you can flip and rotate. They don't have to be in this orientation and you can resize. So there's lots on here for you to work with. So that's the scene building. Let's have a quick look at the reflections because the reflections are what actually work with the dies. They're already sized for the dies. Bring these on. So that is the language of flowers. But as always, when you get this, there's the yellow dress. There's the blue dress. So you get the added benefit of having the extra colorways. You also get the digi stamps, which is the digital version of um, the line version of the artwork. So let's bring that on. Aren't these beautiful? Almost as if they've been hand drawn, which is exactly what you'd expect. Then we go into our backgrounds. You've seen a couple of the backing papers already. Here we have a beautiful, almost like a, a watercolour washed uh, effect. And then you have this one that's bleached out at the top. It's almost giving you a linen texture. And then finally, sorry, not finally, then we have our sentiments. Those of which I've already shown you. Even if you just wanted to print these out and use them in other projects, absolutely you can. And then in the scenes. So this is where we get the, the scene building from, the scenes to build the scene in. And that is one that is A5. You also get the A4. OK, so on some of these, you will get landscape portrait like on this one. That is a portrait size. OK, and then you also get some lovely different there's lots on here let's have a look how many there is you've got 50 different scenes set for you to be able to put all those fabulous characters in there so and then look at what you can create aren't these incredible so this is what they we we call the wow board so this is everything within that collection all put together in one space it's that background it's got all the bits cut into it we've done lots of tucking in got the all the cute little characters on here and that beautiful language of love florals so you can do something really really simple or you can do something that is a beautiful picture frame that's a piece of artwork really that you could put in a shadow box. So that 
is our something to tell you collection. So we hope you have it. You hope you have as much fun of it as we do. Obviously, remember, you've got your SVG, so you get your three um, different sizes, um, small, medium, large, or small, uh, original, large, and extra large. The original is always the size of the, of the die. So once you've actually got that one, you can cut it out and actually manipulate it in your machine, okay? So you can make a standalone cards, you can do welding, rotating, flipping, and all that kind of thing. You also get the reverse reflections in there too, and some decoupage elements. So working all three collections together, you can really create something that's wonderful. So that is our Something to, del to Tell You collection, which is our fabulous birthday web launch. And we hope you can all come along and join us again real soon. You take Okay, goodbye. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.